Hey guys, I was just sitting here enjoying my tank finally. Uh, if you've been following any of my other videos, you'll know that I had COVID-19 back in November, close to December and of last year. And uh, there for about three weeks, I did not maintain my tanks. I have a, two saltwater tanks and both of them, I, I didn't feed the way that I should have. I just I couldn't and I couldn't change the water. And I got a huge cyanobacteria outbreak. I mean, it was on everything. And it took me 10 months to finally get everything at, you know, back to normal. I used some Kimi Clean, and it really cleared up the cyanobacteria. But uh, as soon as I did that, then I had this incredibly huge uh, hair algae outbreak. I could not do anything about it, but it took me 10 months to finally get everything back to normal. And you know, now I can just enjoy my tank. But in that meantime, uh, if you'll notice, I had probably, maybe back then I had seven, I do believe. I'll have to go back and check the video. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I had about seven anemones, and these uh, just these bubble tips have just completely overtaken this tank there uh, last time I counted there was 23 let me see I'll try to get the uh, let me get the light moved out of the way and turn the power off here to my pumps and maybe I can get an overview sorry about the light in the water but there's nothing I can do about that uh, I mean you could just see there's just so many of them and now I think that's kind of going to be my biggest obstacle because I have to feed all of them. And of course, you know, anything that lives eats, anything that eats poops. And well, that all kind of clouds the water. But, you know, I've been doing some huge water changes here lately and it's really been helping out. And there you can see my plate coral doing really nicely. And that coral was actually where that one is and it just fell off one day. And I pretty much said, well, if something bumped into it, it's going to die. No, it's thriving. It's just sitting on that rock. Uh, I probably need to glue it to something, but, you know, it's, it's getting enormous. And uh, here we have some of my, some of my Zoas that, uh, I have a damsel that just decides that it wants to uproot everything I've got here and knock them over. As you can see, they're knocked over in second tier. There's a whole bunch missing because they're all down there. I put them up and he knocks them back down. You can see him down there. And there's my Coral Beauty. Wanting to make a... Yeah, they're a little camera shy. And uh, I guess my big, biggest obstacle now is I'm going to have to get rid of some of these. Uh, for one, they're, you know, there's too many in the tank. It's just becoming an anemone tank. And two, my clownfish, which I love my tomato clowns. They're awesome. They're some of my favorite clowns. All they do is lay up in them. You never see them. There's one. That's basically all they ever do. Come on. Say hi to everybody. Yep. But, uh, you know, I just thought I'd kind of show... In my tank, you can see just some remnants of where the hair algae was. Uh, it takes longer to do it naturally, way longer. If you keep phosphates down with water changes and just you know, grab a clump here and there of hair algae, get it off there, get something to blow the rocks off whenever you start to weaken it. You know, I took a little time and uh, cut the lighting back quite a bit, and that has really helped me out. I'm hoping if they're going to come out and say hi but they're just that eh, here comes one around the back that may be the that right there is the female uh they're just some of my favorite clowns and they haven't been too aggressive to me with my hands in the tanks like my maroon one uh if i put my hand in the tank with my maroon clowns uh, i'm gonna come out bleeding so <laughs> if any of you have maroon clowns you know they're a little feisty and these haven't really bothered me that much. They'll kind of, you know, charge my hand a little bit, but they don't bother me too much. And uh, my Coral Beauty, though, they really ganged up and beat my Coral Beauty up pretty bad. Um, which I think, if you can see, 
I'm sorry for the bad camera. I've just got a cell phone with me today. Uh, if you can see right down in there, there's kind of a little cave there. And they spend a lot of time there every once in a while. So I'm sure they, they lay eggs in there. And they get a little aggressive. And uh, there he tries to come. He knows when I've got, or she knows when I've got the camera out. She's a little, maybe she's wanting some food. So maybe I'll feed them they'll come out. Uh... Let's see if I can get something here. Hard to hold hold the camera in, take a top off. Well, everybody is There's my There's the one who rearranges all of my frags. They were doing really really well on this till so she started uprooting them, he, she, whatever it is, and then they wind up laying face down in the in the tank there, and everything doesn't do so well. So, but I just thought I'd give you a quick view of my tank. You know, it's just you know, I have a little cyano right there, not much. It's kind of a dead spot, so I think I'm always going to keep it there unless I can get the flow back there. And I think once I get rid of these anemones, that I will actually have a little flow back there because it used to have flow back there and i mean it's just a forest of anemones and from those seven actually on a similar note those seven that i had two of them moved to a rock i took that rock out put it in my frag tank and then they have now become nine there were just two they got really big in that tank and so now there's nine of them there and I have 23 in here. And this all started from, uh, I would say, well, it might not even been that big. It was just one anemone I bought for 20 bucks. I mean, it's really small. So I think it was probably half the size of that one right there about two years ago. And now that's what I've got. Yeah, maybe she's getting a little better with the camera. Sorry about my glasses, a little smudged. Some of you know how hard it is to clean salt water off the glass because I just cleaned this tank yesterday. I was going to do a video last night, but everything was so churned up and cloudy. Uh, I'm kind of debating whether to clean off the uh, coralline algae back there. Kind of like it, kind of hate it. I just I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I may leave it. It kind of gives it texture. Maybe a little depth kind of looks, if you look far off, it looks like rocks. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with it, but uh, you know, I'm going to start posting a lot more videos. I've been busy, changed jobs, and just haven't had much time to do anything. So now I'm going to start trying to post, if I can, daily. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. And you know, I won't be quite as tired anymore now that I have a new job. So, but... You know, that's it in a nutshell. Yeah, let's see if we can get them coming out. Hey, there's my Coral Beauty. She was really beat up. I mean, really bad. The, the, her tail was just about completely gone. And her uh, dorsal fins were gone. And I believe that, that the female was the one who did it. Because she was real aggressive there for a while against the other fish. And I know they had to have... Uh, eggs in there and hopefully when i can get rid of you know a lot of these i think i'm gonna try to sell a bunch of them and uh once i figure out how to get them off the rocks really easy and i haven't figured that out yet I'm not too good at that but you know if you have any tips let me know other than just you know you know a lot of water pressure against the bottom of it i've tried that and it kind of works but it seems like it takes forever but uh, I get them sold, and I have some clay pots that I'm gonna put in there. Maybe do away with a you know a couple small rocks at a time. Like get this thing scaped the way that I used to have it. Uh, I had it pretty nice, pretty nicely done, and I've put some more rocks in here just to try to get a you know a little more bacteria in here that could deal with some stuff. And it's kind of worked, but you know maybe now it's time to start backtracking a little bit. 
Uh, my, my frag tank that I have has pretty low flow in it, only has a, you know, a few rocks, and my uh, Zoas are just exploding in there. Uh, and a little, little thing that I learned when I was doing it, my Zoas weren't doing so well at all. And actually, they looked like they were kind of dying back. And when I had the cyano outbreak, I just turned off my uh, protein skimmer, kind of tried to let the nitrates bump up a little bit, and uh, which they did, and my zoas just exploded. That was just the one thing they were needing. And uh, I'm sure, the little, little bit of phosphate and everything came up with it. And it hasn't had any algae outbreaks, maybe just a minor uh, cyano problem i mean it's very minor that tank pretty much just runs itself i don't know why this one has pretty much been a problem for me the whole time i've had it with hair algae it'll break out i'll get it com you know completely gone and then a few months another big giant hair algae outbreak and uh but really one thing i think i try to fill this thing full of uh, hermit crabs and uh, emerald crabs and I'm pretty sure that they die off, and I'm pretty sure that the hermit crabs, they kill my snails, and so it's just all that rotten, and it just at one time, I think the hermit crabs will go on a, on a tear and just kill every snail in here if they can, so I'm going to have to do something about the hermit crabs, maybe no more hermit crabs and just emerald crabs and snails and uh, we'll see how that goes, but I think I'm just kind of rambling guys. I'm sorry about that, but it's kind of late And I've had a long day So I'm gonna get off here and I just thought I'd show you, you know, the fruits of success after you know 10 months Things are finally back to normal. I don't have to use any additives. It just is just doing well so I'm gonna try to find out what the key is with my other tank why it has so much less filtration in it, uh, you know, not as much biological filtration, and it does so much better. It just, I mean, it just does so much better. Plus, it has a different light. I use the satellite lights, the LEDs, and they, I have really impressed with these lights. And this one doesn't have the red, it just has blue, and has a lot of blue. So I'm thinking, you know, they say that goes a long way to grow in hair algae so maybe i've got too much blue here i'll back my blues off a little bit and just see how it goes but uh you know anyway i hope to see y'all nightly here pretty soon and i hope you enjoyed this a little bit and sorry that it ran so long and uh just peace out